Halt! These gates are to remain closed at all times. Captain's orders. Hmm, wait a second. Well, I'll be a little red imp's uncle, the Source Hunter. Sorry for the gruff treatment, I didn't recognise you right away. Please tell me, how can I aid the investigation? You can see security's tighter than ever around here since that surprise attack the Orcs bid on a fortnight ago. They did enough damage to shake up Ahu and Captain Aurea something fierce. We can only hope to hold back the undead and these left field Orc attacks long enough for reinforcements to arrive. Fancy a sip, Skipper? You deserve a drink after handling them orcs! I can't even smell the sea air over this rock! Steady, boys, steady! We'll be leaving as soon as we're packed up. I can't even smell the sea air over this rot. Plenty of fish in the sea, but I've got the foulest of the lot on my racks. fish in the sea, but I've got the foulest of the lot on my racks. Welcome to our humble warehouse. Have a look around. And don't mind if I pick your brain about the scoop around Undervale. I'm behind on my current affairs. I tell you, this gig sure beats getting my toes bitten off by zombies out in the field. We warehouse guards don't have to do much apart from stroll the perimeter a few times an hour. And of course, every now and again, some friendly folks like yourself will wander through here. And nothing beats a pleasant conversation, though my comrade Horatius has quite different opinions on that matter. Have you talked to him? <laughs> Thinks every man, woman and child who steps foot in this place wants to rob it blind. If I so much as greet a townsperson with a hello instead of a state your purpose, he starts frothing on and on about godly duty and security breaches. This Jake business is quite the scandal, no? I myself suspect his wife, Esmeralda, and the butcher seconds that, let me tell you. Then again, and you didn't hear this from me, he's going through quite the nasty divorce himself, and there's his children to consider. But I imagine his youngest, Kimberly, won't mind, never did get on well with her mother ever since the incident. Oh, it's an unparalleled pleasure having a fresh ear around here. Salutations! Source hunters, I see. I'm Sergeant Curtius, proud protector of this House of Legion goods.
Curtius is my name. The Legion is my calling. This is a storing house for Legion supplies. Perhaps the most important building in the realm, by my and others' estimation. And I, Sergeant Curtius, have been trusted to guard it. Report? Keep your pleasantries to yourself. What are you doing inside this warehouse, snooping around? If it's conversation you're looking for, I'd recommend my comrade Florius, or as I prefer to call him, Loose Lips McGee. As for myself, my job is to protect this warehouse, not chit-chat with intruders. That idiot man-child would sooner spend an hour chain up a thief than a minute arresting him. I only hope he gets transferred out of this warehouse and straight to the perimeter. Let him rot off as zombies here instead of mine. Nah, even thinking of him turns one into a gabbing hen. Please, leave me be. About time the council took us seriously. Maybe you can start with the two idiots hiding their pet Orkia. Mm. Bringing your mm. little Orkish girlfriend here is like bringing a wolf to a hen house. No. Ah, who better than a proven orc crasher to convince my dumbbell of a friend here that orcs are predators, not pets? Enough of that. I know how dangerous an orc can be, but this one has been reformed. Anyone can see that she's completely docile. But my prejudiced friend here still wants to kill her. Maybe before the great orc raid we had time to indulge Ninius's idiotic obsessions. But now we're needed at our posts. I can hardly believe I've been wasting time protecting an orc when I should be running them through. Excuse my friend's violent outbursts. He hasn't enjoyed a woman's touch in quite some time now. It makes him a bit... edgy. Your woman's touch is less of a loving caress and more of a claw shanked brutally through the throat. I'll take my chances as a bachelor, thanks. My friend here and I were patrolling outside the city walls, when who did I see creeping along the shore but this lovely orcish lady? For a brief second, as well, as long as eternity, we locked eyes. Perhaps confused by the butterflies in her stomach, she sprang up and began running, claws bared towards Marius. Fortunately for him, I had the presence of mind to ignore my sword and instead adroitly fling my pouch of trinkets towards her. A vial of love potion shattered over her head, and when she turned to face me, she became instantly enamoured. I'm sure she must have been compelled to join the Orcish army under some kind of duress. A lady with such a sweetly savage manner would never willingly join up with those vicious marauders. Ha! I can assure you there wasn't a hint of sweetness in those murderous eyes when she lunged at my throat. She may be confined here for now, but who's telling when she'll escape and who she'll rip to shreds? Ah, I've always had an amateur interest in all things alchemical. When I read in an esteemed periodical from the Wizards of Youthful Gore about an amazing opportunity that could change my life, I had to act fast or lose the once-in-a-lifetime deal. I sent away for the world-famous love potion, available for a limited time only, and it has worked exactly as promised. You see what a fool my friend has been, spending all his cash on snake oil and bringing a temporarily tranquilized monster into our midst to boot. What kind of monster would lie in a published advertisement? I'm sure the effects of the potion will be everlasting as printed. Oh! <laughs> mm. Hello again! 
My baby. Excuse Your woman's t- My friend. Perhaps. A file. I'm sure. Ah, I can- Ah, I sent away. You say- What kind of- You say? He'd believe it was noon at midnight if he read it on a printed pamphlet. Please tell me you can reason with him, or ditch reason and use your sword to shave him from his murderous darling. She's got to be put down. If this love potion is as dodgy as it sounds, she could come to her vicious senses at any time. Agreed. I've never met an orc I trusted, charmed or not. Glad to hear I'm not the only one with common sense around here. I'll do the honors myself. No! She's harmless! Please! You bastard! You had no right! No right to protect not only you from your own stupidity, but myself and the citizens of Sicil as well. I you we need protection from, murderer. Fortunately, the wizards of Uthel Gore make a revenge elixir that will show you what's what. Go ahead and throw your sugar water on me if you like. Your foolishness is no longer my problem. Thank you, stranger. If you ever need help, I'll do my best to repay you. Juan, thank you for talking some sense into that knucklehead. That she-beast would have been the death of us. Salutations! Salt! You've caused enough... Back again? Got any juicy stories for eager ear? That fusspot said what? Well, who loose lips will let that lowly backbiter know what he thinks about that? So, something you'd like to say to my face? I haven't a thing to say to you. I'm on duty. Duty, indeed. Put up your fists. Are you mad? We're guards, not drunks on the street. Enough! What is this barbarism? Back to your post at once! Sir, this is an important matter. A matter of honour. Such matters are to be settled on your own time. Understood? Understood, sir. Such bickering is all that thieves need to sneak by unnoticed. It won't happen again, sir. It better damn well not. Evacuate this place while there is still some left to save, I say. Go what? Murder within the walls, undead outside the walls, and here we legionnaires sit, twiddling our thumbs. Yeah. 
I've got my eyes on the prize. Excuse me, I'm, I'm trying to prepare for the next show. Autographs will have to wait until the end. I doubt I have to tell you that I am the amazing singing Stefan, the only sentient severed head in Sicil. My audience sings my praises from Hill and Dale. Psst, you, 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 you're a source hunter, aren't you? Oh, bless the seven. So you've got to help me. I've been kidnapped. A uh, pleasure to meet you. Now, please, uh, Stefan has many fans to meet today. Uh, psst, uh, help me. Take me to Reginald's cellar. There I will reveal everything. Fantastic. It won't be the worst indignation I've suffered. Get on with it, then. We will have none of that, you hear? Fantastic! You there! Take a seat, prepare to laugh your head off, cry your eyes out, and teeter on the edge of your seat with an original tale from Stefan, the talking severed head. I am Reginald the Illusionist, purveyor of the most amazing artifact in Andervale. This fantastical talking head. Catch the act while you can. This show will only remain in Sicil as long as there are Legion soldiers to entertain. I think you've gotten quite familiar enough by now, thanks. Keep your paws in your pockets, if you please. Hard times, Lord Pinchpenny? Back for more, I see! I am... I think you... What's that nutter in the back hollering about? I can... This show is... Don't ask me what the... This show is... What's that no... Don't ask... What are you looking at me for? There's a great show going on right in front of you. And look, there stands the world-famous Reginald the Entertainer. Better check it out if you don't want to miss the time of your life. Oh, I'm nothing but your average man taking in the best show I've ever seen. I'm amazed and astounded that for a meagre gold coin or two, I can take in this first-rate entertainment all day long. Well, I've stumbled into quite the fine gig. I just let my appreciation for Reggie's work be known, and he slips me a few gold coins in return. My voice happens to carry pretty far. Sicile hears me. Sicile wants to see what the fuss is all about. And let me tell you, this amazing show just can't be beat! Who knew Elliot, who is said to have known Sigurd himself, that the king ah! had a great By the seven! What a tale! Zombie ate your dog? Orc sunk your ship? No matter! You're at Katarina's Fair, a veritable summer home for troubled minds. 
Won't you take a seat and let our esteemed entertainers whisk you off to a better place? Well, I'm Katerina the Fair, fairest first lady of the fair, of course. I do love making the acquaintance of my patrons, and who knows which of them might become one of my performers. I've an open stage in want of talent, and I've often found the best young performers among the rank and file of the audience. The theatre's fever has overcome you, has it? Marvellous! I do so love a fresh green talent ready to bloom. But I support players, not writers, you see. If you want to perform here, you'll have to find tried and true material. Check the library and see if any of the classics there interest you. I'd love to see a source hunter's take on one of the old standards. Hey, calling you. And who are you supposed to be? Oh, I should have been one of the greats. But here I am gathering peasants to watch peasants perform broadside pageants for peanuts. No, really? I hadn't noticed. If not for this ridiculous condition, you'd know me as the king's favourite thespian. Don't you have an impressive library here in Sicil? I'm sure that beast of a librarian could rustle something up for you. Take it up with Katerina. She's the master of this pig circus after all. Sit! Stay a while! Right in front! I'll excite you! I'll delight you! I'll beguile you! I'll besmile you! I'm Cedric the Sensational and I'm... I'm... I'm playing to an empty audience! Don't pity me! No, sir! Just a few years ago, I was the all-singing, all-dancing, all-sensational darling of the town. People came from far and wide just to witness my amazing act. When Reginald came, he brought some fantastic prop with him. Now, have you seen it? A talking head! Now, I never expected a silly gimmick like that to be my main competition. It seems even my usually choosy audience has been taken in by that hack's little gizmo. I'm a man of skill, sleight of hand, feats of wit and pure entertainment. This curio is ruining what used to be an art. And even when there's no crowd to speak of, old Reggie still has at least one fan calling bravo and hee-haw. Sure as the sun sets, that one devotee attracts five more, and those five more all curious about the commotion. I don't know how he inspires such loyalty with less talent contained between his hat and his boots than I've in my crusty handkerchief. I, a person whose sole job is to praise the performance and stir a crowd, a genius invention. No wonder Reginald has had such success. I knew his act couldn't have outshone mine on its merits alone. Please, you must hire him for me. Imagine the scowl on that con man's face when my rightful audience returns to me. A must-see event.
some pity. What's this deal? Another peaceful death. You return marks of victory. Leave Janea at your service. I wouldn't venture too far out of town if I were you. Many legionnaires did so before you. Very few have returned. Or whose invention? The Stasis Blaster. <laughs> it's quite a sight, no? The ray can singe a zombie or skeleton to ash in a matter of seconds. These days, we legionnaires hold a lottery to see who gets to man the things. You can bet it's no small amount easier to blast those flesh-eating monstrosities from a distance than to get within striking range. Don't ask me how the blaster works, though. I just make sure the thing's hitting its targets. Know much about zombies. I wouldn't venture too far out of... Get to shining recruits. Sorry, sir. You think that's funny, driver? Good luck with these sights. Honored to meet you. Wish I was a source hunter. Some pity. <laughs> Can you spare a, a coin? Hunters, eh? All right, proper. We're finally getting a hand. Things is chaos. If you've got a favourite sheep, best to fry her up now before she gets thieved in the night like me dear plump ogget, the finest in me herd. Now that the herd's gone, old Birch is just scratching by like a hen till the next batch of beasties comes through. I recently sold most of the tender loves to a trader heading north. Plenty of business that way these days. Those miners must be preparing for a mighty great feast. Wish I could have a nibble on my dear darlings, all ground and spiced. Yes. Oh, Oggett's been missing for more than a fortnight. I love that sheep, you know. Was planning to cook her into a fine midwinter night agus myself. Do tell me if you hear anything about her. I plan on pursuing whoever stole her with my cleaver in hand. Sorry, can't help you there. Haven't got enough livestock left to warrant a hand with the work. Customer, I've never seen an aura so plagued by ether. Thank a starty, I've just the earth scroll to ground you. Ah, oh, hello, proportionate one. Oh, I can see from the symmetry in your face that you are a great fan of the fine arts, no? I'm a painter by trade, as you can see, but a cartographer at heart. 
You might think there isn't enough work for one of my talents in a downtrodden city like Saisio, and you'd be quite right. I travel around Ambervale, mastering my craft and finding new subjects to add to my litany of lovely portraits and complex maps. Like this rooster I'm working on now, and the landscape that surrounds him. What's taking Tenderfoot so long? So, which, excuse me, this is a private sick room. Who in the name of the seven do you think you are barging in here? Out, I say, right this instant. Oh, I'm sorry, it's this task. I'm just, who am I to meddle with life and death this way? I'm an apprentice of the healing arts. Healing. But this decision feels like precisely the opposite. I have but one healing stone, you see, and two direly wounded men who need it. I've been racking my brain trying to decide on the best method to settle this grave situation, but perhaps it's better off in the hands of an esteemed source hunter. Surely you are more accustomed to weighing life and death than I. What would you like to know? One of the brave few willing to traverse the trade routes plagued by the undead. A young man, but excellent in matters of business, before he fell victim to an orcish club in the north, that is. Thankfully for him, a cattle trader found him, nearly dead, but not quite so, and brought him here straight away. Quite the venerable staple of Sy Seal, Stephen, and recently blessed with his third grandchild, he was leading a crew of builders when a stray beam struck him in the temple, and only a few days shy of his last day of work before retirement, no less. Nearly everyone in Seal is familiar with grinning Stephen, and, as you can imagine, he's quite dear to his family. Yes, a curious relic indeed. I got it from a kindly abbot, Loik by name, in the northern town of Silver Glen. He is of a certain faith. The Immaculates, they call themselves, that espouses the belief that certain stones can heal wounded flesh. I myself was nothing if not sceptical of his claims, but something happened as he handed me the stone. A small cut on my finger instantly healed, leaving no trace of the wound. Needless to say, I was astounded. But it's strange. The stone is only good for a single use at a time before it reverts to a useless, inert state. It takes time to regain its magical properties, and I guard it cautiously. Don't dither long. These men are slipping ever closer toward the edge with... Uh... Hey, stop that! That doesn't belong to us, you know. You're right, it doesn't. Sometimes I get a little overzealous while I'm on the job. Happens to the best of us. More. Please, these men don't have lot. But, if one were to reduce the quantity of skull dust by a percentage of uh, two, hmm? perhaps the stability could be increased by as much as threefold. Oh, a sauce hunter. <laughs> Imagine that. Quite a bit more petite than the last of your kind I encountered, aren't you? Yes, by nearly 20 centimetres of tibia, as my memory serves. But, uh, no matter, no matter. No. Even if it couldn't spare its heartiest specimen, I'm sure the Order sent the individual with the next highest probability of success. Yeah? Me? Why, well, I'm uh, more than a little surprised you haven't heard of me. Perhaps I can jog your memory. It was I who cured the Duchess of Arata of her unslakable thirst. A simple pinch of a trope of belladonna in her morning tea. I who discovered that aging itself can be halted by a single application of secuta du glacis on the tongue. 
Not to mention that it's been my guidance that has permitted my apprentice Evelyn to make quite a name for herself around Cyseal of late. Yes, yes. <clears throat> if that's how we're referring to the secretive use of a revolutionary healing method she refuses to share with her own master. As she's in the other room as we speak, perhaps you can prevail upon her to offer a demonstration. She's gotten a hold of a stone, supposedly capable of fantastic feats of healing, but she won't let me take the briefest look at it. But she claims to have gotten the relic from a little northern town, uh, Silver Glen by name, and that an abbot there blessed it with the power to heal. Utter rubbish, I say, but with these blasted undead haunting the travel routes, I can hardly march up to Silver Glen to learn the truth myself. Well, she certainly possesses a critical eye and an exacting manner when it comes to making difficult medical decisions. I expect she'll be a very successful healer in her own right when the time comes. She is learning from the best, after all. Sorry, but uh, there isn't much work for sailors in a house of medicine. Unless one of them happens to have a secret stash of healing stones. <laughs> certainly, what would you like to know? The counselor. Terrible loss, that. Though we were hardly more than acquaintances, I knew him to be a devoted civil servant. From what I can tell, it seems to be a simple case of jealousy turned violent. The affairs of his wife, Esmeralda, were hardly a secret, you know. I've applied myself to that problem for two years and still haven't come a step closer to solving it. I declare it an act of the Almighty's, if I believed in such things. Some events, Source Hunter, can be neither controlled nor understood by mere men. Stone? Interesting indeed. Nothing sets me on edge like inexplicable magic. What do you think? Would you like to learn more about the pe- Yes, a curious relic indeed. I myself was not- But it's strange. You are? Ah, oh, I thank you a million times for your help. Who have you decided should receive the healing stone? Tone, soothing oh. the corpse's troubled mind. Boris's life has just begun. We can't cut it short now. Yes. Boris deserves to experience all the pleasures of life that Stephen has already enjoyed. Boris it is? Yes, I'll deliver the stone. I'm glad we'll get to save one man. My heart breaks for the other. Of course, his troubled mind can't have gotten far. No, 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 this is oh. highly abnormal. What is this? I feel no pleasure in bidding you farewell. think so. That stone. Somehow it sent us flying into the stars. <laughs> <laughs>